Man, this isn't what I expected all the awful life. Hey Sherry, call my mom to pick me up. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. What are you doing? What did you do that for? You need to spend some time in the real world. Do you guys want to play hide and seek or something? Oh, that's a good idea. We can use the whole school, you know. It's creepy. Is that Matthew? There you are! No, how did you find me? Did you find Ria? I couldn't find her anywhere. What if there's actually a killer? I can't take this anymore. I gotta get out of here. The window's too tough. We're all gonna die. The heart? This is a boy's bathroom. Where are you? What an amazing place with an amazing smell. Can't wait to work here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to finally meet you, rookie. Here, sit down while I give you some details about your first case. Recently, there was an awful murder of one of our detectives. Detective one was stabbed in the neck. I am pairing you up with Detective Alfred. You both will have to work on this case together. Oh wow, that's awful. Me and Detective Alfred will close this as soon as possible, sir. I really like your attitude, but I have to warn you about Detective Alfred. Warn me? He is a good man, but he can be, well, not so nice sometimes. So just don't do anything that might make him mad. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll promise.
Chief, are you sure about partnering up with this weakling? I'd rather do it myself. You both will have to work as a team to close this case. You will work together. I want the culprit caught and the case closed by next week. Whatever you do, don't get in my way. This is my case and I want this done fast. Let's go. Hold this his case. This hole is too creepy. Are you sure this is the right way? Of course, but I don't think the murderer will be here anyway because it's too dark to see. Let's split up. Okay. Ah! Oh, spider. Ah! Who scream? Do they have to offer it? Why can't he hear my light voice? I need to go. I feel like I just ran one kilometer in a minute. <laughs> Did they tell Alfred, RJ, your arm, right? You just put a trick knife and ketchup on your chest, right? No, do not cry. I need to find some evidence. I better bring these back to the chief. Chief! What happened? Someone killed my partner. He was one of the best! Now you will need to investigate two murderers! Woman, what? Um, no. I'll pair you up with Detective Ito. But I have to warn you, she is really, uh... Me? Um, no. Shy. Come in, Detective Ito. Uh, um, hi. Now, go solve this case. I can't lose any more detectives. Let's go to solve this case, I guess. Okay. Hey, I found something. Put your hand up. You can't tell me what to do. This will teach you trust, detectives. But I haven't done anything to you, and I don't even know you. That sentence cost you your life. I found this next to the crime scene. Also, Detective Ito is no longer with us. I see. Rookie, take this file. It holds some information about those items you found. That ring had the words for Diana Lewis engraved in the bottom. That key was a key to one of our prison cells. D72JI1930 to be exact. And the piece of the orange cloth was a piece of the prison clothes. I believe that the murderer is someone who has a connection to the prison, most likely to sell D72JI1930 and also Diana Lewis, but I still don't know. Okay, thanks for the info. Great, just great. First, I lost my partner in my first week and my first assigned mission. Second, I don't have enough evidence to point out who or what the killer wants. And now, the thought of returning to the crime scene and facing the murder again gives me the chill. When will this ever end? Rookie, do you copy? Copy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I will assign you with Detective Peterson, the best of the best. You two will need to investigate even deeper into the crime scene. And most of all, 
Do not engage if you see the murderer. Thank you, Chief. Ah, you must be the rookie. I'm Detective Peterson. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's me. Nice to meet you, Detective Peterson. Let's head over to the crime scene. I found out who prisoner D72 JI1930 is. It took a little bit of digging, but it's Jamie Boroff. You arrested her years back. Do you remember? Yep, sure do. Be careful. Right, rookie, you go in. I'll look around outside. Ah! What does that? Detective Peterson! Finally, I get my revenge to all of the miserable ears you sent me to. I'll never surrender to you. That's funny. You only look at one punch away from death. Say goodbye to the world, Peterson. You're coming down with me to the station. Why do detectives always have to get in the way of my plan? Well done, well done, well done! Great job, Rookie! I didn't expect that you would solve this case with a bat. I, I again lost my partner, but I solved this problem. Hooray! You have shown bravery in your very first mission. And for that, I hereby present to you a badge of bravery. How are your feelings right now? Great! This is my first time to get the bravery badge. Now I'll go home and eat my oversized heaping bill, beef bowl. Thank you for your speech. Do you carry your own plastic bag to the supermarket or do you buy one each time? Plastic bags are some of the most bought single-use plastic items. We humans produce 280 million tons of plastic each year. And some of the things that make this number so high are plastic bags, pet bottles, toys, and many other single-use daily items. Only 10% of 280 million tons of plastic are being recycled, and the rest is dumped into other countries or nature or the ocean. 45% of marine mammal species and 21% of seabirds are harmed by plastic. And that will later on harm us humans when the world is being filled with more and more trash. The places that produce and buy most plastic is China, Europe, and America. And the plastic ends up elsewhere like in Thailand or Malaysia. Thailand takes 35,000 tons of plastic a month and Malaysia gets 110,000 plastic a month. And they both get it from China and is affecting all humans living in Thailand and Malaysia. Plastic waste can cause global warming, environmental issues, and can cause people to suffer from health problems, such as lung problems, heart disease, and etc. Plastic waste can cause pollution, which is harmful to the animals and that's or in large debris. I personally think that buying plastics from any other shop is not worth it for me because we are actually buying them and keep throwing them away, which is mostly affecting our lives and can cause global warming. Now think about it, if we keep buying plastics from any other shops, it will mostly affect our lives and it can cause more global warming in the future. So, in my opinion, we should stop using plastics from any other shops and start using our own utensils from our home. Horizon has about 300 students in the school. 115 of the students uses Caesar's Kitchen, which is the school lunch of Horizon. One plastic utensil weighs about 3.7 grams. If all of the students using Caesar Kitchen uses plastic utensils every day, and there are about 200 days of school on average, that means Horizon wastes 
425.5 grams of plastic a day. That might seem like a small amount, but if you convert it into a year, that will be 85.1 kilograms. That might seem like a small amount of plastic compared to the amount that the world uses, but that does certainly affect the environment. For example, turtles can accidentally swallow plastic bags that are floating in the ocean because they look like jellyfish. A fish can eat a small piece of plastic and if a person eats that fish, that person's body might get a bad influence. It interferes with your baby's growth if, in case you are pregnant and makes you more susceptible to cancer. One study predicts that by 2050, the total amount of plastic in the ocean will be heavier than the total amount of fish. In Japan, the collection rate of plastic bottles are high at 88.9%. It seems there is no problem but that means that more than 10% of the plastic bottles are not collected. In Japan, 22.7 billion pet bottles are used, which means that about 2 billion pet bottles are left as uncollected. Also, there are some that overflow from the trash box and are blown away by the wind. Some can be thrown out by the animals and go into the water waste. To reduce the amount of unnecessary plastic use, we encourage the students who use Caesar's Kitchen to bring their own utensils from home. Reducing the disposal of plastic is something we can all do. For example, our school lunch people waste a lot of plastic with the forks and spoons. As much as possible, make sure to bring your own reusable spoons or wooden forks to avoid wasting plastic. Easy, right? Also, straws and chewing gums are plastic too. We can change plastic straws to paper and buy less gum and throw them out in the collect place. This could be done by anyone. So let's eliminate plastic waste from our daily lives. I know everyone is excited for the field trip, but can you guys all please be quiet? <laughs> quiet! We're taking a dentist. <laughs> Snoopy. Sidro. Here! Joseph. Present. Mustafa. Oh, I'm here. Mia, Hikari, Koyuki. We're here. Len. What's it to you? Hey Sidro, where are we going anyways? Oh yeah, I forgot. Everyone listen! Visit Utopia, where everybody, no matter who they are, will always be happy. There are cute characters like Yuto and Pia to meet, and there are roller coasters, so let's have fun everyone. I'm confident that I won't be happy at all. And why are you even going? What do you mean? She is coming to Utopia, right? Okay guys, stop the uninterpretable polemic. We're here. <laughs> The structure of this place is unlike any other I've seen. Did anyone ask about structure? You nerd. Ah, here we go again. Another school trip. I hope they don't do anything wrong. Especially Mustafa. Hi, I'm Yezo. Well, welcome. You're Mr. Wanjin, right? Can you come with me, please? Wow, this place is awesome! Welcome, guys. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Let's go, my dear students, and let's have fun! Thank you! Thank you for coming! Hey, say something. Hello! Welcome to Utopia! I just want to have fun here, not talk to these weird smiling dudes. I know, I, I actually I'm hungry. Can we go get some food? Yeah, I didn't eat breakfast today. Bye! Bye.
Let's explore Utopia! I want to see the cute animals! No way, we're going on a roller coaster. Cute. Roller coaster. Cute. Roller coaster. Cute. Roller coaster. Hey, what do you guys want to eat? Oh my god, Kyle, I told you I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna eat anything. There's nothing to eat. What's wrong with this place? I know, right? Like, I want to go back to my house. It's so boring. Hi, guess. Is this your first time ever coming to Utopia? Um, yeah. We want to give you a special tour. Yes, a special tour for only really cool people. What? A special tour? We know the perfect place that you want to visit. Yes, sure. Let's go, guys. Utopia is the most amazing place. You guys will love here. Oh, look, a playground. I want to go there. That's for babies, Mustafa. Those children look so happy. Well, this is daily life in Utopia. Everyone's happy every day. What is this music? I don't know, but I don't like it. It's the best music I ever heard. What's going on here? Take off this robe. Stop ignoring you, creepy mascot. Hey, you creep. If you don't untie it, I'm gonna call police. Well, there is no reception here, so I'm positive that you cannot. What? What are you doing to us? Don't worry, this will all be over soon. No, stop! There, now you're happy. Where did those two go? According to what they usually do during school trips, they're eating out of food courts. I don't care where they are. Snoopy, that's rude. Oh my gosh, the Utopia food court was awesome. The characters are really nice as well. Yay, you guys are back! Ah, oh, they were better gone. Let's go to the Utopia Museum! I think that would be very educational. I think I'm gonna break something this year. Okay. Len, don't you think there's something wrong with the class today? Like Mr. Wonjin, Mia, Koiki, and Hikari are acting very out of character. Yeah, they're all acting like Sizura, I guess. I think something is happening to them every time they leave. They seem much happier when they return. I think you're just paranoid. I'm surrounded by idiots. Wow, this museum is so amazing. Mustafa, look at this. Huh? What? Wow, this picture is so nice. Hey, new people! Who are you? Oh, do you live here? You have to get out of here while you can. Huh? Why would I ever want to leave? This place makes you happy, but that's the only way you feel. If you do anything negative, the mascots will take you away. But they seem so nice. No, they're controlled by the president of Utopia, Dr. Happy. She's behind everything, but I don't know how she does it. But aren't you happy? No. I am sad. As long as we're happy, they won't notice us. Oh, okay, I'm happy. Oh no, I don't think I can do this. Here, take these and let's get out of here. What about Mr. Won Jin and the rest of the class? It's too late for them. Now act happy. Is Utopia amazing? 
It sure is! Loving it here! We'll show you the best parts of Utopia. Yeah, you will have lots of fun. Come on, you'll love it! Thank you, but we'll come later. Guys, keep smiling! Utopia, a place where nothing goes wrong. Hi, Uto! Oh, Good girl! About it, don't think about it. I can't. I'm sorry. This place stinks of smiles, stinks of bright colors, stinks of candy. It's too much for me. Excuse me. I knew we were forgetting someone. It was only a matter of time until a negative thought gave them away. Guess that leaves one last mess to clean up. Would you two and Pia kindly escort our guests to my office? <laughs> we will take you to the president. Okay, stop holding me. Get off. Bring them in. Get the tools. What is that thing? This device is used to suck the sadness out of people. Why are you doing this to us? All I want is people to be happy permanently. The happier people are, the less questions they ask. Soon, everyone will obey me. We have to stop her. Why? Because she's brainwashing everyone and she's evil, stupid. Oh. Hey, what's that? Nothing. Ignore that. That must be how she's keeping everyone happy. Get it. I'll get it! I'm in control of the speaker. Your time is up, Dr. Happy. I'll put on the saddest song I know. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. No, stop it! Let's get out of here. Huh? I can't hear you over the sad music. Mustafa, I really like how you can be so calm no matter the situation. Shut up, Sejo. We don't have enough time to be nice. Snoopy Shrek, let's get out of here. Roger that. What the heck? Where is the security? Why did you let the kids go? This is exactly why I hate being happy. It ruins people's lives. No, we love being happy. No, we need to be both happy and sad in order to survive. Yeah, like if someone's dog died, we wouldn't want to be happy about that, right? I don't know much. And I really don't know much. All of our emotions are... Wait, what was our word in the spelling test again? Important. I'm so glad you're learning so much from me, Mustafa. Yes, exactly. I was living here for so long, I was actually losing my emotions. See? Being happy all the time just makes you dumb. Guys, uh, maybe we should get out of here, you know? This place is kind of falling apart. Hello, doctor. So good of you to come. Here are the patients. I don't know why I'm here, but it seems fun. They were brainwashed in Utopia two years ago. My job is to make patients as comfortable as possible. I'm very comfortable, thanks. Let me explain. The patients were brainwashed to have a positive mind at all times. What? I don't remember getting brainwashed. And no one can survive if they are permanently positive, you will notice threats. I'm so happy that we got brainwashed. You shouldn't be. The only way to keep them alive is to make them sad again. Which is why we called you in. Thank you, nurse. I'll take good care of them.
I'm here to kill you. Get ready to die. I? How? Where's your weapon? Huh? You don't have a weapon. How are you supposed to kill me? Well, I don't know. I thought you were just going to be scared to death. That's stupid. What's your name? Kyle. Is that it? Kyle the Ripper. That's more like it. I think you could use some more work, but I'll leave that up to you. Now let's talk about the kind of weapons you have. Well, I do have a really thick copy of the Three Little Piggies book. What? Think, what would the Texas Chainsaw Massacre be without a chainsaw? Just a Texas Massacre? Right. Now I'm talking about guns, knives, swords. Do you have any of those? Uh, I do have a water gun from last summer. Oh, I have an old axe. Much better. Now go back home and go plan your next kill more carefully. Thanks. Please don't tell the cops that I tried to kill you, and I promise to bring a weapon next time, all right? All right, see ya. Sure. Good luck. I hope you'll kill someone soon. Wow, that's amazing. I want to be just like Michael Myers. He's so cool. And he never forgets his knife. That guy was right. I need a weapon. Before I forget, I'm going to get that axe and kill someone. I have to get it right this time. Hey, did you know that Creepers began as a cooling air? Oh yeah, so cool, right? Hey, the sun's rising! Oh, I'm gonna head home now. Yeah, it's, it's getting a little late. Aw, oh, man! Alright, see you soon. Uh, see you sometime in my life. Love talking about Minecraft, by the way. Oh yeah, me too. By the way, what were you trying to do with that axe? Oh yeah! I was going to kill you, but I forgot to. I got some advice for you. Don't start a conversation with someone you're trying to kill. Act like Freddy from Nightmare on Elm Street. You gotta be scary. Oh wait! Ah, uh, right, right. Ugh, why do I stink so much? Ugh! Why can't I kill someone? It should be so easy! How can all those famous serial killers do it? Glenn! That lady was right. I shouldn't be so friendly. I want the kill just like Freddy. Okay, axe. Check. Don't be friendly. Check. Now I can finally kill someone and have the satisfaction of murder. You little rat, what are you trying to do? Well, uh, I was trying to kill you. Then what are you doing without a mask? Don't you see that there are security cameras everywhere? What? I forgot my mask this time? Yes, have you ever seen any horror movies at all? No killer goes around without a mask. Do I even need a mask? Yes, just like Jason from Friday the 13th. All the good killers have one. Okay, so can I kill you now? No, go home and make sure you have a mask next time. Okay. <laughs> ah! Why can't I kill someone? I'm literally so bad at this. What can I do? What? Is this a new mall opening? 
That's the best place to kill someone. But I need backup. Yes. Guys, I need your help. Um, there's a Nemo opening, but I don't know what to do. Can you guys help me? Got it. First, you have to sharpen your axe. Sharpen my axe. Okay. And don't forget the mask. You don't want the National Guard coming for you. Okay, uh, don't forget the mask. Check. Don't get friendly with the victim. You're a killer, not Mickey Mouse. Be scary. You want to be a serial killer, not a serial loser. Okay, uh, be scary and don't be friendly. Got it. Good, so do you understand? Yes, I understand. Do you really understand? Yes, I really understand. Are you sure? Yes. Now that's the spirit. We will meet you at the mall. We're rooting for you. Are you ready to kill your first victim? Um, yeah, uh, I, I think I am. I know you'll do great. Just remember our advice. Hey, you forgot your mask again. Our little murder has grown up so fast. Let's take a picture. Now, are you ready for your big day? Yeah, I'm ready. I won't mess up anymore. Now get out there and kill someone. Are you gonna kill me? What? I... Sorry, I'm not allowed to talk to my victim. Yes! I did it! I can't believe you finally did it. Took him long enough. Uh, my name's Kano. Oh. Um, sir, over there? Yes, sir. Hey, put your hands up. Jesus Christ. Just go. Oh, okay. Wait, what is he doing? He has eyes, right? Hey, watch out! Oh, ouch. That's embarrassing. Are they with you? Oh, yeah. No! Alright. Mission complete. Uh, sir, your sunglasses? Uh oh. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.